Welcome to the Reading is Resistance book club. We are reading Patron Saints of Nothing by Randy Rebuy and talking about pages 248 through the end of the book. Jay, his tita Chato, tita Ines, and his tito Manning's whole family arrive in the countryside to stay with their grandparents. Jay is both sad that his tito Danilo isn't there to join them and very eager to talk to Grace about Jun and his website. Jay and Grace confront Manning about his involvement with Jun's murder and Manning gets so frustrated that he eventually lashes out physically at Jay. At that point, he tells Jay and Grace that if they won't believe what he has to say, they should talk to Danilo. Grace and Jay head to Legaspi to talk to Danilo about Jun and they learn that he was involved with drugs and that Manning had actually been trying to protect him the entire time. After their visit to Legaspi, Jay and Grace organize a small memorial for Jun in the backyard of their grandparents' house. The whole family officially mourns Jun for the first time, including his parents who up to this point had only ignored his death. The last days spent in the countryside fly by and soon it's time for Jay to go home. Before he leaves, though, he gets a few final moments with Mia, and they both realize that they do have feelings for one another, despite all of the barriers that they face. On the plane, Jay reads his favorite letter from Jun and feels joy at the memories, but when he gets off the plane in Michigan, he feels extremely strange being surrounded by so many people that look nothing like him. On the drive home, he talks to his dad about everything that happened in the Philippines, and he feels for the first time that he can connect with his father. At this point, he feels comfortable telling his dad that he wants to defer college and spend a year in the Philippines, and to his surprise, his dad is cautiously supportive and understanding of those plans.